Hello my friends, we are going to continue talking about the resources in Android app and we are going to talk about the string resources. If we go to app resources folder and we select the values, we have three folders or files, colors, strings and things. We are going to, we are interested in strings now. If we open it, we have this file. So, if you want to learn Android app development and start publishing your own apps, as thousands of people did, join our Udemy bestseller and higher rated course with a free coupon in the description below. A string resource provides text strings for your application with optional text styling and formatting. There are three types of resources that can provide your application with strings, like the string, this is the tag, or this is the tag string that is responsible for the XML resource that provides a single string. Or we can make a string array, which is, which is a resource, which is an XML resource that provides an array of strings and also we can use the quantity strings quantity strings that ca we can declare that carries different strings for pluralization for many plurals okay so all strings are capable for applying some styling markup and formatting arguments for information we are going for more information we are going in, through this course to make apps that uses the res resources and uses the translation and localization in this uh, in this uh, in this manner and in this way so the strings the string array and the plurals we are interested in using the strings so a string that can be or this single string can be referenced from the app or from the resource file such as an xml layout for example if i need to make a new string here string name it's it's a required uh, attribute uh, i will name it as uh, text uh, five Okay, so what is the text five? It will contain the value of this telling us, hello, I am, or uh, I am the text, or uh, I am in strings five. I am from. Okay, this will indicate if we see this in our application, then we know that it is from the strings.xml. How do you make use of this string in our application? Okay, so we go to the project, we open the main activity or any activity of your own. I will remove this previously created stuff. And the main, the main activity I will create here, a text view. So text view, wrap content, wrap content, and uh, text size, it would be like 32 dp. And I will give it an ID, text view number uh, 66. This is the text view. I will need to close. I will add inferring the constraints and add them to be matching the constraint here. Okay, so this is the text view 66. Let's declare it in the on create text view. Text view equal to find view by id r dot id dot text view six six. Now, how to make use of the strings? I need to put a text inside the text view. 
I can put here like text and I say hello. Yes, but this is hard coded string. So you should use string resources. This is what you tell what you, Android Studio tell you. You need to extract string resources. Okay. So what we are doing here we, uh, is extracting the string resources from the hard coded to a string fo folder. So all the strings, put them here in the strings.xml. Now, how to link this string with the, the text view? We put here in the main activity text. We put without putting he hello, we can put at string. And what is the name of the string that we have to reference? It is text5. So string slash text5. You see, this is the magic. We put the string at text5 and it has been receiving it directly. Okay, so it receives it from the strings folder and display it under the name of text five. This is the very important, uh, the hard, not hard to not hard code the uh, text in order to put all your strings here. And also if you need to access the data from the Java, so text view, I can put, I put like this dot set text and here, I need to remove this first. And here, what I can do, I can put set text to bar dot string dot text five. Okay. If I run the app, it will display the string number text number five, which is referenced referenced here in the string. Okay, so this is the importance of using the strings. And you can make this very important in the localization. So if I need to translate this without putting every time and making a new layout for the, for the Arabic or the Spanish or the French language, so I can put string here i can extract the and edit the translation for all by opening the editor and i can put here what is the translation of this text five and it will add it directly to the uh, to the default key like english french arabic and so on so it will display automatically the translation of the text without the usage of defining a new layout for every uh, language you have in your app. So this is very important.